tired of that intro. Need a new intro. Yeah, we're, I would just we're want the dish redo. I don't yeah. want to be talked to anymore. Yeah, yeah, we're 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 gonna change that. <laughs> That's it. Get your attention. Yeah, it's easy. That's all I need. Mm, you just know it's like a calling. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like the church bells are ringing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when the dish redo plays, you know we're gonna talk. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. What was the uh, what was the uh, 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 what was that movie <laughs> where the uh, oh Lassie Lassie? La- remember Lassie and and. Uh, she would always like save people out of the well. Oh yeah, like Timmy's in the well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then just like dog well, heroes. Hold, hold on, what sure. was the what was the dolph- uh, oh, like, we... I don't even know if the camera's recording. Oh, well, yeah, hold we on, stay show. here. <laughs> uh, well, today, guys, we have a World Economic Forum article that is um, at least we got the camera going. Yeah, camera's going. World Economic Forum off. Uh, uh, Dude, this is me last night. I couldn't even talk. I was trying to say Excite Bike Arena. <laughs> There's something with like Mario Kart. I couldn't even get it straight. You were saying Hey Macarena? What? No. <laughs> hey no, Macarena. Excite Bike Arena. I couldn't even uh, get it out Excite of my mouth. Excite Bike Arena. Yeah, that's hard to say actually. It's tough It's tough to yeah, say. Yeah. World Economic Forum. This article is, this is how much different commodities contribute to deforestation. Do you know that song, Where Have All the Good People Gone? Yes. Where Have All the Good Trees Gone? The trees are... are just, I mean, it's it's gone, dude. I was watching. I was looking at satellite imagery of uh, Amazonian deforestation. A lot of it's ha- happened in 2020. Like the largest, like chunks, just like taken out of it. Yeah, and it's like, why there, there, there has to be a decision that has to be made globally on this because the article talks about the seven agricultural commodities account for 26 percent of global tree cover loss from 2001 to 2015. So, whenever I see statistics, I always like to kind of dive into them a little bit more. So it's a 26% of global tree cover loss. What is the other 74%? You know, because I mean, I would say, you know, is it, is it uh population growth? You know, like well, what? agricultural commodities, right? Um, seven agricultural commodities. I get all of these and we're going to go into each of them. I get that, but oh, I, I want to know. Oh yeah. They're right here. Yeah, cattle, cattle, oil, oil palm. palm, soy, cocoa, rubber, coffee, and plantation wood fiber. What the hell is plantation wood fiber? Oh, I think it's it's in the, like where they make pellets or they make pressed wood. Oh. Do you think that's what it, you know how they have the, what's that board that they put up that's like all pressed together with epoxy oh. on it? And yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know you're talking about blah, 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 plywood. But it's, so, it, it, um, it, cattle, so if these seven things accounted for 26% of tree, so People are lopping down this tree coverage to find space so that we can grow more rubber trees, more cocoa plants, more soy, more palm oil. I Indonesian rainforests are getting lopped down for palm oil. It's terrible. They do it all the time. And we don't even need it. We don't I even mean, need it. It's yeah, a joke. Yeah. I don't yeah. want it on my prepackaged I get. Popcorn. I get the rubber, the coffee. I mean, there's got to be a different way that we can do this. But, you know, cocoa, I get that. Did Soy. you know that a full-grown oak tree? Well, oil palm, we don't really need. And cattle, you don't really need. We don't need to eat as need, much meat we as we're eating. the cows. Mm-mm. Dude, uh, a full-grown oak tree supports breathing, um, breathable oxygen for 12 adult human beings. Yeah, think a about A full-grown that. oak. Yeah. I'm going to sneeze. Uh-oh. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Yes. All right, good. On air. Explosion. You know what it is? <laughs> I don't have a tree in here cleaning the air, so I have to sneeze. Yeah, so these agricultural commodities replace 71.9 million. Um, they have it like acres, I think. Someone's um, going to capture that in a still frame. Yeah, and then put it like... Yeah, make a yeah. meme out of it. Great. Yeah, that's awesome. An area of land more than twice the size of Germany. So my question, my question is, why are we consuming so much that we have to go to the earth and say i you have this resource what what is the value exchange Mm. what what, you know we're taking but isn't the responsibility to give back aren't we supposed to be stewards so i I, okay i get it okay like uh, i'm from washington state so whenever yeah whenever like they've gone through lots of years there was always a dichotomy of warehouser and the loggers and and you know they hated environmental people and and then you had environmental people going out there and they're hugging trees and all that stuff you know and then you know but there was always that back and forth and so you always had the um, free enterprise uh environmentalists and and, but it worked even though there was a rub yeah they began to like for instance they you know they decided and they both agreed on we shouldn't cut trees right near the river 
That makes sense because you that erodes all that soil and it yeah, dumps into exactly. the water and then you have no yeah exactly and then no it, banks. It, yeah and then you've got mud in the water it messes up salmon spawning all kinds of stuff makes sense so but and then Warehouser came along and said shout out to Warehouser they came along and they started hiring college kids during the summer times to go out and plant trees so it was like okay we're not just going to you know, lop it down. We got to get lop back. It, we got to get back. And then they found, you know, like Douglas fir and stuff like that. Were very, you know, they grow really fast. The very strong trees. Yeah, I, I, I get that part. I mean, I understand. We need wood. We need lumber. I, I love the part that they're coming. And then also, it's 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 actually a good thing because it allows the area to clean up. You know, it's like a far. It's like a fire in the forest. You know, yeah, it we, cleans we and everything need to else. Have yeah. those. So, you know, I mean, coming in, it, as long as you have minimal impact. Well, can you explain to people why that's required? So there's resin in the cones of carnivorous trees and they can only release the seeds if there's heat actually applied to those cones or the pine or whatever that might be. So it can reseed into the ground. Mm. You actually have to melt away the resin so that, so forest fires are required. Yeah. And I don't know why they don't do that. I mean, I, I don't know why when they, when they come in and log a big area, why they don't just burn it afterwards. And then, and then like the next year, come and plant the trees. They do that here in New Mexico. Yeah. They do that here in New Mexico. Yeah. There's I in North Carolina when I was stationed in the Marine Corps, they were always doing, they had signs out on the roads. Yeah. They were always burning different parts of the forest, you know, to keep the brush down and all that. Yeah. But I get all that. I understand that. It's like, but why do we feel because we go to Indonesia that we don't, because it's not in the United States or in our country that we can feel like we can do that to Indonesia. Well, it's, it's so far away. And why does that company low regulation? Why does that palm oil company turn around and say, yeah, we're, we're just going to take all these resources from these people and we're not going to give back to the, what, uh, are you replanting? No, it's too expensive to give back. Well, and then, how, you know, do you have scientists that are on the ground that are talking about how we can, no. You know, put this back to nor- halfway no. back to normal. Have you seen palm oil plantations? I know. That's what I'm saying. They're insane. It's like yeah. this big geometrical pattern that goes it, out. It's there something that still looks like it's from the 1920s. It's ridiculous. And we're in 2020. That was 100 years ago. Yeah. You, guess what? More human beings means more cattle. So more me, human I, beings means they want more coffee. More cars that people are driving means you need more rubber. So I want to speak to this. So these corporations that are allowed to just take from um, the earth, take from people... How are they doing that with our data? They do. They rake it all day long. They just lop down the fields. Like they're like cluck, 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 cluck. And they don't. They, is anything given back in return? Was any financial gain given back in return? Were these companies when they were taking your data? Did they the money they generated from it? Were they donating a portion of it? No, no, they weren't. It's the same thing that happens with a tree or data, right? It's this weird psychological idea people have about this zero sum game and not giving back. If you you gotta be a steward for the environment and you gotta be a steward for data. And even though the population is increasing and you know we're consuming more stuff, well then that should tell you, wow, if we're consuming more, we need to do something to offset that consumption, not take more out. Mm-hmm. How long does it take for a tree to grow? 50 something years for it to get to full yeah, size? Yeah, a lifetime, yeah. A lifetime. You're dead by the time that gets back to big. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Back to big. I back want a shirt big, that yeah. says that. <laughs> back to big. Right? And that's that's half that issue is that if you are not, you don't appreciate the life cycle because you haven't looked at the stewardship of this specific thing. You haven't actually appreciated the value and what it means when you cut it down and how long it takes for that to actually repurpose itself. It's like a coral reef. All easy for me to come in there and just net the water and take everything that I want. But how long is it going to take for that coral reef to come back? Seven years, 15 years. But you're not thinking about it because, Oh, I got the fish right now. I got the tree right now. But what we don't realize is that, you know, I've, I've Florida did this. And I think I've talked to you about before. Florida. They made, they made areas where you couldn't fish and they yeah. penalized it really heavily. It took what they thought would take 50 years for it to come back in those areas. Yeah. They had big circles, swaths. It took seven. That's what I'm saying. Stop cutting the trees down. Look at, look at the alligators. They thought that, it, that they were almost extinct. Now they've got over. N- nature's very, very resilient and will come, I think, will bounce back quicker than we think. We're so pessimistic about it. But then every time that we give it a chance and we create value, it gives us tenfold back. Yeah, it does. It's, it's almost like banking us. Yes. You know, I know some people at Weyerhaeuser. I think... Um, what would be cool is if Firehouser says, I know we're in the tree game. I know we owned all this tree land or at least lease it from people. 
we found a better option than cutting down trees. We are going to start to transition 5% every single year to this new thing for building material, not trees. Doesn't, don't you think that's a proper thing to do? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, like, it's like, consider this. You know, people are like, okay, I don't want to eat. You know, I want to take ooh, one day a week. I would, won't eat meat. Mm. Well, all right. So you've transitioned to beyond meat. Now transition it to two days a week, three days a week, four days a week, five days a week. And now we've inverted that. And now we've actually chose something that is now more sustainable, mm-hmm. right? Than rather taking away life. Do I think that's beneficial? Yeah, no, I I think it's a hundred percent, and I think we have the ability and of the course. science to be able to accomplish that. We do, because when th- there's something amazing when when humans put passion and intention into something, I love it. We always are so creative in everything that we do, right? And I we have tons of options out there. We're just not using them. If these guys are leading the market, Firehouser, right? Just like okay, you want to know something? We are going to transition everybody because we have the ability to do that. Here's a better product you can use for building. If you're going to frame a house, frame it with this. Mm, yes. Change the way we build. Don't just keep do- using trees because contractors don't want to evolve to a new way of, you know, setting up new developments. We're not going to do that anymore. Choose something else. But that's our responsibility. We got to tell them. It's our responsibility to take back our data. It's our responsibility to take back our earth. We, we can't rely on governments to make those decisions. No, it's our earth, not the government's earth. Everybody's all excited because our president has this, you know, big summit that's coming up for environmental and stuff. But he, Joe Biden is not the answer to uh, any type of can I, climate change. Can I say something? Is, is Joe Biden um, sucking down 71.9 million hectares of uh, forest? For cattle, oil palms, soy, cocoa, rubber, coffee, and uh, dish whip? No, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, exactly. The people are doing that all together as a collective. He's just a he's just a representation of the government and corporations. Yeah, there's not a representation <laughs> yeah, of you. I know. You represent yourself. Yes. Yeah. So let's keep it that way, and uh, let's plant some trees, and uh, let's take back our data. <laughs>